that one back already. And I'm going to show y'all what kind of brushes I like to use because they're convenient. I don't have to get my hands dirty. Um, I put a little bit of foundation on my light spots. The foundation that I like. Not the foundation that I don't like. And I'm going to use a little bit of this darker as well. Um, this is wet and wild and it comes in a jar like this. They have a stick and then they have a liquid. I like the liquid because it has a little paddle in it. And it's just convenient because you don't get your hands all dirty. And I just put a little bit here and here. On my darker areas like where you would put your highlighter or whatever not highlighter yeah highlighter and then I let me show you what kind of brush I use this is the kind of brush I use and I wash them but I like them because they are easy I always do my lightest color first we're just gonna do this really quick and nasty just so that I look halfway decent when I make my video tonight and then uh, I'm not gonna like redo my eyeshadow or anything like that even after being in the shower I don't care so then uh, I'm gonna show y'all how I straighten my hair and then but these brushes come in different sizes let me show you some of them so I use them for a lot of different things okay this is like my powder brush uh, and I like a translucent powder. I don't like for it to be colored. So. Why do we all do that? That I guess to stretch our skin out. Okay. This is going to be so fast. It's not going to matter. Okay. And I sure didn't use that old cheat stuff. I told y'all I didn't like. Well, this is cheap stuff, but I like it. I bought Lancome before we went out to Los Angeles, y'all. And I wound up using my Wet n Wild. It worked better. It looked better. And I just like it so much better. So, uh, with that said, let's get started. Let's get started. My dogs are out and I've hung my bag up behind me. Uh, I'm hot. It is, it is muggy and it's cool outside. But it's hot in here because I got the oven on. And the oven always heats up my house. And uh, now I'm about to put a little powder on. And then I'm going to do my hair. And then we're going to make Halloween cookies later. Um, I really could put a chicken pot, pot pie together today. But I'm just too lazy. I don't know what I'm going to do. We had cornbread milk the other night. It was so good. I'd rather have cornbread milk than anything. Woo! Cornbread milk's good. Y'all know what I use for lip liner most of the time? My eyebrow pencil. Because it's a pretty Auburn color. I got I got a I got a uh, eyebrow pencil in Auburn. And it's just such a pretty color. I use it for my lip liner all the time. I'm trying to find it so I can get this done. Maybe it's in here. I got ready so fast this morning. I may have to use my painted on lips. Wait a minute, let me paint my lips on and then we'll go. Then we'll start this other. I have to have lipstick, y'all. I cannot live without it. Ooh. Sorry. I thought I was ready before I came on, as usual story of my life. I've got different colors than this. See them? And they're all kind of earthy and they're, um, I just like them. I'll use the brown, um, since we're doing, I would, I'll use some orange with it and, and then we'll do the hair. I'm going to let y'all see my hair color. I think y'all can see this. Let me see. This is liquid. When I'm using liquid, I actually like for it to make a line right there. I'm still live. I just went back live. 
I looked at it. There's a pie in the oven. It's an apple pie that's taking it forever in a day. Way too long to suit me. Now, this is just regular lipstick. I'm going to put it on over it. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mama, I always thought my lipstick was shaped so funny. I miss my mama. I miss my mama, y'all. All right. I'll let y'all put, let, I'll let y'all see me put on some eyeshadow, some eyelash stuff. Because some of y'all hadn't seen my eyelashes real close. I want y'all to see them. I have really long eyelashes. I got them from my daddy. And May got them. But hers aren't as full as mine. She has them, but she don't have as many as I do. But I just want y'all to see them. Up close. If you've never got to see them. Lord. This is my favorite mascara. There's none better. You have to go to Ulta to get it, though. Some things I buy cheap. Some things I buy expensive. And some things you get what you pay for and some things you don't. So, you just have to do your best. And figure it out for yourself. But this mascara is the bomb. Now, when you get 40, the word is, so I was told, that you're not supposed to put mascara on the bottom. So that doesn't draw attention to the bottom of your eyes. Now, I don't have any liner or nothing on. But see, but I've got... Long eyelashes on the bottom, too. I can put on my mascara without a mirror because they're long enough. And like I said, May got these from her daddy. I mean, from my daddy. William Benefield from Collard Valley. Gave me these eyelashes. There's another Benefield girl. And she's actually married to a Benefield. And she's got long eyelashes like this. And Kathy Carr. Everybody knows Kathy Carr. If you, if you live in Cedar Town. She was a teacher. And she had long eyelashes like I do. There's very few people that really have long eyelashes like us. And I can, I can name the ones I've known so far. Those are the only two other women that I know that actually had eyelashes that were just really long, like mine. That was so easy to do. Easy, breezy, beautiful, right? Bomb diggity, Julie says. <laughs> I am not going out tonight. I am going right in the kitchen and making some Halloween cookies for y'all. So let's take our red hair down. I think I got more red in it this time, don't you? Uh, so it'll probably be more red and I may have to dye it again. If it, if it gets too bright on me, okay? So let's look in the mirror and get to work, okay? Um, what I do when I do my hair is I take half of it. I got tons of hair, okay? So I take half of it. Now, for those of y'all who've seen the video that shows why I wore wigs, you're, you're going to see why I wore wigs because I was used to so much hair when I didn't have hair, it drove me crazy. And then there was a time, I'm going to be honest with you, for years, years after my treatments, I'm sorry, um, that I did not feel like washing my hair and drying my hair and curling my hair. So I got it cut really, really short, okay? I literally could not, I didn't have enough energy in me to get all that done. So if you're a breast cancer survivor or a cancer survivor, or if you have fibromyalgia, you know, in these autoimmune diseases like I do, um, there are times when we just cannot do the things we want to do. Um, and so there was a period of time there, and it was, you know, during the start of my show in 2017, when I still just wasn't up to par in the hair department, okay? So what I did is I um, got it cut really short in a pixie cut, and then I bought a lot of wigs, and I just wore wigs 
Sometimes I'd have long hair, and sometimes I'd have short hair. Sometimes I'd have curly hair, and sometimes I'd have straight hair. And, you know, different colors, and it was just fun, and I enjoyed it. Uh, and, of course, now it's grown out longer, and so I have to take care of it. But I'm going to be honest with you. I wash my hair once to twice a week, most, at the most. Now, when I was younger, of course, I washed it almost every day. But I don't have to do that anymore. I'm older. I don't get out and sweat and get it real dirty or nothing. I keep it up in a ponytail the most of the time when I'm at home. So I really don't even get that dirty at all. Um, and I take it down when I go places. But for the most part, when I'm just sitting around the house, my hair is up in a ponytail. Unless I have a migraine. Okay? Um, what I like about having hair this length is if you don't feel like fixing it, you can put it up in a ponytail and put a bow in it. And uh, I do a lot of my videos with my hair up like that because... You know, I'll be like, oh, I want to cook something, but I don't want to get too dressed up. I'm just going to stick my hair up. Sometimes I don't wear makeup. Sometimes I do. Y'all know how I am. Y'all just get me however I feel. I don't get all bent out of shape and think i got to come in here and get all dolled up every time I cook. Because if I did, I would never cook. I, I wouldn't cook enough for y'all. And I haven't been cooking enough over the last month, but we've just been here and there and everywhere so I'm hoping that we're here to stay for a few months and I'm gonna be cooking a lot again I hope but these live videos still aren't getting it on Facebook because of the quality I don't want y'all to think I'm doing it just for money I'm doing it for quality 480 pixels is fine for me fixing my hair but it is not fine for food it just don't look pretty. Y'all look how shiny this color is up close. I want y'all to see how shiny it is. See how shiny that color is? Pretty, ain't it? It's a pretty color. A very pretty color. And I hardly ever straighten my hair, and if I do, then it stays good for a while. Now, it's rainy outside, so it may not stay, you know too too long long but it's uh i just take it down in sections and do it because i got so much so like now i'll take down this part put this back up and keep going my mama didn't like my hair straight she liked it curly um if i ever straightened it and went to see her she would always want to know why i didn't roll it She'd never liked the straight hair popularity thing over the last 50, really over the last 20 years it's been popular. It's high time that it went out of popularity. It's high time for us to have perms back in style. Uh, it really is. Because uh, straight hair has been in way too long. And uh, mama always loved for women to curl their hair. And Mama didn't think that a woman should have long hair over the age of 30. <laughs> Some of y'all might feel that way about me. Um, but I enjoy my hair. So, as long as you can take care of it. But when you get to the point to where you just don't feel like it anymore and you find yourself uh, not doing it, Man, when I got so bad, I'm not kidding. I'd go to Walmart some days, and I'd go to the hair department in Walmart, as young as I am. And I would say, will you just wash and blow dry and, and straighten my hair? There's nothing wrong with that, y'all. If you don't feel good, you know, um, let somebody else do something. You know, when you're sick or going through chemo or treatments and stuff, don't think you got to do it all. Cut your hair off like I did. Of course, you don't have any hair when you're going through treatments. What am I talking about? But honey, the treatments, they linger for years. Jimmy Sue's on here. She probably knows what I'm talking about because it ain't been that long since she's been through it. Linda's on here. She's just gone through it. 
We got so many people. I've got Cindy that's just come through it. Um, so many people have, you know, to live with that. And it's hard, y'all. It's really hard. I want y'all to see how pretty it looks. Now, it's really red, I have to say. My eyebrows are nice and they match. See how nice they look? They're a little bit red because I, um, because I, didn't scrub them hard enough in the shower. Now, I, I will say this. When I color my hair, the coloring says not to wash it. I have washed it my whole life. I have never colored my hair and not washed it. And then I do a deep condition, okay? Um, because I just don't want that old color to stay in my hair. I got to have some soap on it. And that's just the way I've always been. It usually works out just fine. It does great. But you just better make sure if you do that, y'all, that you use a really, really good conditioner. Okay? So I think we're ready to go make cookies. What do y'all think? Y'all like it? Is it red enough? Um, now, this color is, I like it because it stays in my hair longer. It stays shinier. It stays healthier looking. Um, it's just, be it's a beautiful hair color. You can get it at Sally's Beauty Supply. And, um, I've already stuck it up, but I'm going to, it's an Oregon Oil hair color. This is an R, a 7R with a, uh, a 4C or 4 something C. Let me look. I'll put it on the video when I edit. Uh, let me look it up so I don't have to. I don't like to have to go back and edit. It takes too long. Um, I'm just going to pull them out real quick and tell you the numbers. In case y'all want to use this color. Um, four? No, actually I put it in the, in the trash can. You know, when you get our age, you have to take pictures of stuff. When you go in the nail salon and you like a color, take a picture of it. Or if you like a hair color, take a picture of it. Or if you find a dog food, your dog will eat. Now, I got on a long shirt, and I got on shorts, but it don't look like it. I'm hot. Y'all know I'm going through menopause. I can't walk around here. I'm burning up. Um, let's see. 7RG, okay, with 4C, and I think the difference in this time and last time, the last time I colored it was on the finale of uh, Food Fight. It was the last time I colored my hair. It was darker, but I think I used a 10 developer, which would have kept it darker. Today, I used a 20, so it did lighten it a little bit and make it a little more red, okay? So, if you want it to be um, um, and Anne just went through chemo. And it's coming off the other side, and she just had um, surgery. And you know how I got chemo brain, and I still have it nine years later, honey. So look forward to that, but look forward to being here nine years later like me too. Um, and being able to color your long hair if you let it grow out. I swore I was never going to let my hair grow out again. I did, and then I did. Um, but anyway, yeah, I used the 20 developer, so it's a little lighter than it was last time. So, anyway, um, I hope y'all have enjoyed my hair coloring. I will see y'all later on um, Color Valley Cooks doing cookies. And I'll pull my hair back. Bye. Love ya.